Hello and welcome back to that nostalgic 2015 era of Siege. In this video, I'm going to take you back to when Siege had first came out. This is the version of Siege that you would have played on the day that the game actually came out. For a lot of you, this is when you had first picked up Siege and initially fell in love with it. A lot has changed since then and today I want to showcase a lot of those changes. I'll be giving you guys a side by side of what the game was like on this build in 2015 versus what it's like today in 2021. The game has been out for a staggering six years now, which is truly incredible. Say what you will about Siege in its current state, but it's truly come a long way. If you guys find this video enjoyable, be sure to let me know by liking the video. I'd love to do more videos similar to this one on the other seasons of Siege as well. Also, let me know which season you had actually first started playing down in the comments. Personally, I started right here when the game had first came out. Little known fact that there weren't even seasons when Siege had first came out. Anyways though, if you guys find this video enjoyable, drop a sub and turn on those notifications so that you don't miss the next video I make on Throwback Siege. We need to locate a bomb. Insertion in ten. You have located a bomb. Alright, coming off of the house rework, comment F to pay respects by the way. Anyways, the next few clips are from the situations and man, it is crazy to see how much some of the gadgets have actually changed. Just check this out. Move to hostage location and secure the hostage. This black and white kill cam is a classic. And let's be honest, how many of you really knew that the kill cams back then looked like this? What I'm sure you guys didn't know though is what IQ's gadget could do and what it looked like back in the day. This one is, well, just, just watch this. Eliminate all hostiles.
Op 4 neutralized. Mission successful. I think it's safe to say that IQ's gadget has come a long way. Speaking of making a long way, if you've made it this far to the video, first off, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. But since you made it this far, please consider subscribing. Anyways, though, you guys have got to check out these attachments. The UI back in the day was so different. And when I first saw these again while recording today, I actually couldn't help myself but laugh. Also, something hilarious was that Sledge has breach charges as his secondary gadget. Yes, Sledge, the guy with a actual sledgehammer, has breaching charges. I have no idea why. Besides that, though, my beloved SMG11 ACOG is here as well. And man, was this a ton of fun back in the day. And check out this laser sight. I know that I run laser sight in 2021, but there's no way that I'd be running it in 2015. And there's just so many goofy things that were a part of the initial release of Siege. Stuff like the running animation and even the animation for how Sledge uses his hammer. There's so many little weird things that you're going to find while playing on this build, and I actually just love it. I also had the chance to play some Blood Orchid today, which was so much fun. Playing Ella when she had first released with 51 bullets, impact grenades, and literally zero recoil is like nothing else. I've also got a lot of other content creators together to download all of the previous seasons of Siege, including this build and even Outbreak, so expect some banger videos with my friends and I doing custom game lobbies together on those older versions of Seed. We'll even likely be streaming it, but at the very least, I'll be uploading a video on it here to the channel. So make sure that you subscribe with the notifications on so that you don't miss that video. I'll also have my Twitch link down below in the description if you're interested in following to catch that stream when it happens. And I know that a lot of you are going to be wondering exactly how we're playing on these older versions. And to that, I will send over a link to the Discord server named R6 Operation Throwback. They give you all that you need to set this up, and that's how I was able to access these versions of Siege today. So a big thank you to them, and if you're interested in playing these earlier seasons, then be sure to check out that link in the description.